Hey guys, it's Nicola with your intuitive readings for May 14th through the 20th. These readings are general readings only, guys. If they do not resonate with you, please check your sun, moon, and rising. If you would like to book a personal read with me, you can do that through my email, intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. You can also do that on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net. If you would like to purchase the $25 30-minute read or the $55 hour-long read videos, personal videos, you can do that in the Shop Now section if you would like to actually book a phone read with me or a video chat with me you have to do that in the book now section you would have to actually book off of you guys would like instant access to me you can gain that through instant go type in www.intimatewisdom mm -mm, www.instantgo.com slash intimate wisdom you can also download that on the app store for my iphone ios users you can gain instant access to me 24 hours a day through this service guys if you guys have not subscribed to my channel please do and make sure you hit that boot i mean that uh bell on the side the notification bell so you guys can get notified when i do my live reads other than that make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get these notifications enjoy your reads guys that's all i got have a good night hey sagittarius it's nicola with your intuitive read for may 14th through the 20th what messages do we have for sagittarius may 14th through the 20th sagittarius may 14th through the 20th. Sagittarius. May 14th. Through the 20th. Sagittarius. May 14th. Through the 20th. So the underlying energy is the moon card. This could be someone needing to release some fears within the situation. See, someone is obsessing about something. Maybe a choice that they made or obsessing about a decision. Could be obsessing about someone else's choices as well. The moon card, we could be dealing with a Pisces. I see Pisces. I see um, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sagittarius, Cancer. Okay, I'm just pointing out the signs I see so we can figure out what's going on, Sagittarius. The Moon card, this can be about releasing the fears that are holding you back within the situation. This could be this could be a fear. Some of you guys have some irrational fears right now in regards to something, okay? For me to get the Star card, the Devil card, and the Five of Swords with the Nine of Swords right under that, some of you guys have an irrational fear of either being manipulated within a situation, possibly due to some love. Maybe you feel like someone's manipulating you. I don't know. Let's see Sagittarius. So we got the Star card here. Why is the Star card here? That's the star card right here. We got the six of cups here. So this could be dealing with issues with your children. Maybe you're hoping. Some of you guys are hoping to get attached to someone. You're hoping, um, and when I say attached, either you're hoping to get married or have a baby. It's something. This Aquarius could also be someone that you're linked to. Okay, with the devil card and the star card and the six of cups right here, this could be a soulmate situation, a, a, familiar, a soul familiar, a soul link. With the four of pentacles and the six of swords, some of you guys are needing to, mm, we got two sixes here. So we are talking about some type of karmic situation. Some of you guys are needing to give up this, um, either this fear This is a fear. Some of you guys are needing to give up this fear. This may even just be a fear of commitment. Some of you guys need to give up this fear and move along with this relationship. For the devil card here, this represents some obsessive um, behavior. Whether it's be drug, whether it's drug use, um, gambling, sex, it's about some type of obsess obsessive behavior. This can also be some type of victory within a, with dealing with the cancer. The page of wands, this could be a new opportunity. The three of cups, mm. This could be a new opportunity though yeah this could be a new opportunity this could be some type of achievement um this could be a link 
Maybe you've broken some type of link or maybe you're hoping to link up with someone because you see an opportunity to move forward or progress with them with the three of pentacles. Maybe you're hoping to connect with a, a Capricorn. Maybe get engaged, get married. Okay. So we got the three of pentacles right here. The four of swords. If some of you guys are wanting to ask someone to marry you, take some time to make sure that's what you want. Okay. Because with this devil card, this can be just someone hoping to make a relationship. Um, with someone or hoping to settle down with someone holding on to uh hope but you may need to be, be you may need to focus on what's really going on here because this may be a lust situation okay the devil card is all about lust and sexuality this that's not really like it's an it may be an attachment but it's a physical attachment it's not an emotional attachment so let's see with this three of pentacles right here why is this three of pentacles right here Okay, with the Two of Wands, we could be talking about a contract. Some of you guys are linked to a contract. The Three of Pentacles, again. Some of you guys are needing to cooperate with someone within this contract. Some of you guys may be um, not seeing how stuck you are in a situation. Or maybe some of you guys are wanting to communicate with someone that may be linked to someone else. And that may be the problem you're communicating or you're in a relationship or com or communicating with someone else but that someone else is linked to someone else they may be married and maybe you're hoping to solidify something with them but they're already connected to someone else with the five of swords you need to question your own motives why are you either ignoring the fact that they're married not communicating not talking about the fact that they're married or connected to someone else they don't have to be married Maybe you're afraid to lose the connection. Why is this five of swords here? Yeah. You're not confident in letting this go. You feel like it'll be a lot to let the situation go. We got the ten of wands with the king of pentacles and the death card. Some of you guys feel like if you let this situation go, it'll take too much out of you. Um, and you're afraid. Others of you, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Maybe you're needing to... Um, mm -mm. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio, but I don't see that. This Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands, this is about really questioning your motives as to why you're staying connected to a situation. And maybe a lot of work that you're having to put in. Maybe it's just your hopes that are keeping you connected to a situation. We got the Nine of Swords right here. This is someone expecting the worst. This could be some guilt with something. Someone needs to set some boundaries. Why is this Nine of Swords here? This can be irrational fears. Why is this not a source here? With the moon card is an underlying energy. Some of you guys are having some irrational feels and you're needing to balance those out. Okay, so your intuition is on your intuition is on the fritz. Your strength is on the fritz. You're needing to focus on you right now. You're obsessing about a situation that may not be beneficial to you. With the two of pentacles, this represents someone needing to find some balance. Maybe finding in with the two of pentacles to pop up on this nine of swords. This is finding some balance within your mentals, okay? This is figuring out like how to remedy this remedy this situation for others of you this is you trying to juggle some things out and maybe feeling some guilt with the strength card in reverse this is you giving up your power you not having the inner strength to move forward with the moon card you're afraid okay the moon card is about releasing the fears that hold you back for it to be in reverse that means you're afraid to move forward you're expecting the worst out of this situation with the hermit card go within take some time to meditate take some time to really think about what it is you need to do and follow through with that we got the ace and it's easy for me to say this with these cards in my hand but y'all gotta understand i live this life just like y'all and i have to break cycles just like y'all and it hurts just like it hurts y'all it's a hard thing to do and i'm still in the process of trying to break a cycle but once you break that cycle things will start moving in the in the way that you need them to move we got the ace of cups here why is this ace of cups here this may be someone offering possibly a taurus capricorn or virgo offering some love the two of swords you may not see it you may be expecting the worst with this situation the ten of pentacles this could have a lot of um this person could be very charming okay this person could be very charming we got the king of wands with the ten of pentacles so we could be talking about a business owner someone coming to kind of offer you something this doesn't doesn't this doesn't necessarily have to be love sagittarius this can be 
um, a job. This can be um, money, whatever it is. But the King of Wands and the Magician, be careful because even though there's something offered that has some type of value to you, and e the value to you, you may be ignoring something even bigger within this situation okay because with the king of wands the magician this talks about someone that may be trying to manipulate you we got the king of pentacles here this is about confidently accepting opportunities so there could be an opportunity that that's being presented be confident in it but also make sure that you're having patience okay don't rush and take the first one with the king of swords if this is a contract that we're talking about or someone coming with a new opportunity make sure you really think this through make sure you Bring in some legal assistance if we're talking about something legal. Because someone, like I said, may be trying to manipulate you. This is a relationship we're talking about. This can be you needing to really speak your mind with confidence. Be confident about the choices that you make. With a magician, this is about not expecting the worst out of the situation. Just being confident in it. Okay? With the magician card, could be talking about you, Sagittarius. We could be talking about a Cancer. We could be talking about a Scorpio. Um, this is also about manifestation. So maybe you're needing to manifest something. Maybe you have the ability. Maybe you have more power in this situation than you know. We got the Justice card. So it could be dealing with the Libra. But this is also about you doing what you know is right. Making sensible decisions with that Queen of Pentacles as an underlying energy. The Eight of Pentacles. Keep working on what it is that you want. That you're desiring to work on. Whatever it is, there's good health within it. If this is a relationship or a job or a home, keep working with what you have until the opportunity, a better opportunity comes. Because after you stay with this situation, we got the Six of Pentacles. There's new opportunities to come. Be sensible, all right? Got the Ten of Cups that popped out there with the judgment. This is about making a decision based on your family. So don't think about it for just for yourself. Make these decisions based off what's good for your family as well. Got the page of pentacles in reverse. Make sure you do research before you just don't make any rash decisions, Sagittarius. Why? Take your time, Sagittarius. You know you guys move, 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 move. And you know what's crazy with my Sagittarius? Y'all are so full of energy, so full of life. Like y'all. But temperance is y'all is y'all um major arcana. Take your time, Sagittarius. Take your time, Sagittarius, okay? All right, so we got the Five of Wands and the High Priestess. The Five of Wands does represent, with this love situation, maybe some competition. Maybe you know that there are some details within this situation, some things that are going to pop up, especially if it's a choice. If this is a choice that you made to kind of go out on your own and uh, not accept someone else's opportunity or not accept an opportunity that was presented by someone else, you are aware that there's going to be some backlash. You are aware that there's going to be some drama associated with it. Well, with the will of fortune, this does represent something changing. Now, for other of you, this is a relationship. Maybe you're having, maybe once you realize you have the power to manifest this relationship or make this relationship real, some of you guys some of you guys may have to go through some type of riffraff. Like, somebody may not like it, okay? Somebody may not like it. So what? So what? Move forward with the will of fortune. This is positive moving forward. Your concerns will fade away within this situation. We got the Six of Pentacles here. Y'all, this is my baby. Not This is my son. Like, my child. <laughs> He's laying beside me. Move his leg. All right, so we got the Six of Pentacles. This does represent new opportunities coming in. Yeah, right, right, Dane? sleep all right why is the six of pentacles here why is the six of pentacles here why is the six of pentacles here okay let's try this again shuffle these cards my mind went somewhere else and it reflected on my card why is the six of pentacles here for sagittarius why is the six of pentacles here for sagittarius why is the six of pentacles here for sagittarius you remember when i told you not to be too rash okay don't be too rash you got new opportunities coming so this opportunity may present itself it may this person may be trying to manipulate you i'm gonna be real with you sagittarius whoever it is is offering this opportunity may be trying to manipulate you or maybe not manipulate you would just manipulate the situation to fit them best with the hangman and the four of wands wait okay something better is coming for you some more stability is coming from you okay we got this uh four of wands and this 
empress card so this can represent a new opportunity within love new marriages relationships something new starting you basically giving birth to your dreams whatever they may be so let's move these out the way and let's see what we got in love what messages do we have in love for sagittarius messages in love for sagittarius messages in love for sagittarius messages in love for Sagittarius. Okay, so we got it is safe for you to love, new love, and reconciliation. Let's try this one more time. What we got for Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. All right. So underlying energy is release your ex this means that there's someone in the past that you're needing to leave behind it is safe for you to love okay give your relationship a chance this is smack dab in the middle so whatever you need whatever you're doing work on your partnership right now this is a spiritually connected partnership there may be some lessons that you need to learn i don't see a marriage marriage it may be but i don't actually see it right now we gotta express your love it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all we also put healing family issues. So with release your ex as the underlying energy and healing family issues, this is about releasing negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative emotions that could be preventing you from truly loving. So let's see what messages we got for Sagittarius. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? May 14th through the 20th. Sagittarius. May 14th through the 20th. We got prosperity. It says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving it. We also got sensitivity. It says you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, and chemicals. We also got the arts. It says express yourself through creative activities. Some of you guys are needing to set some boundaries, Sagittarius. Set some boundaries. That's all I got. So until next time, have a good night.